that can't be a song from a kid's movie. Yeah. This was, yeah, which is ridiculous. We will do a movie related one because we will do one. Then I thought this was so hard. And then I realized there's one song that trumps all. I feel like the movie one would be harder. Like every Disney movie now just has the most incredible soundtrack. Oh, they do. What makes it so hard is it's based on the best kids song, but I put it on my favorite kids song and I always lose this stuff. Like always, so consistently, uh, we've done it so many times. I'm just going to have to win every other challenge because I just don't have this mindset of like public opinion. Yep. Okay. (sighs) So we will reveal what our songs are. Then we're going to quickly listen to each other's songs and maybe discuss them a bit. And we can't put them on because of copyright and whatnot. So we will put the links down below. And if you wanted to check them out yourself, you can. And I would really encourage to. Yeah, definitely listen to both of the songs. Uh, my one's amazing. I'm sure Kevin's will be great too. Uh, listen to them and then make your decision. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to let you reveal your song first. Okay. Like so to... I have mentioned before that this is probably the most amazing kids song of all time. But or it... should I go first because I got mine loaded? No, and because I'll... I'm already going. <laughs> As I mentioned before, what is probably the best kids song of all time is... The Wonder of Wiggletown by The Wiggles. I knew you were going to do it. And I have heard this song and it's... it's... There's so many layers to it. and We'll discuss it later. What feels, was your... like a, feels like a Josh Pike. Yeah, we'll go. We'll anyway. discuss it later. My favourite, my best kids song is... And there's so many reasons I will have to go into it because you will not... Like, first off, you okay. just won't. Okay. Anyway, let's, let's get to the point. Uh, mine is... Pool Party by the Aquabats. Okay. Have you heard this song? No, I don't know the Aquabats and I've not heard the song Pool Party. So the Aquabats are a kids punk band. Oh, that's fun. It's it's so good. And they came out on Yo Gabba Gabba. I think they were around for, they've been around for a while. I mean, you know, Yo Gabba Gabba was created by the same person who made Homestar Runner. Really? Which is like. Oh, that's so rad. You know, internet royalty. That was our. Kids probably don't even know who Homestar Runner is anymore. And how good was Strong Bad's emails? Oh, Got man. emails. Yeah. But that was life in high school. And his, his metal songs, like, oh. It Needs Words with D. Yeah. Deteriorate. Yeah. yeah. Like, so that amazing. was a really good Strong Bad impression. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank oh. you. I really loved that guy. Oh, so good. Um, and anyway. if you, and I'll, like, do you remember, sorry, just because we're on the topic, it came out on Guitar Hero. They had Strong Bad. Strong Bad, yeah. I yeah, do remember so that. So good. Yep. It's time star runner and it's gone is it gone i don't know it's gone. anyway <laughs> we're gonna fast forward and then we're gonna go through this segment now i have heard wiggle town yep let's listen to them both again okay all right so, we're gonna fast forward so that was a marathon <laughs> that wasn't just long for a kid's song that was long for a punk song as well <laughs> like <laughs> It was a lot of fun. It had a lot of fun parts. Okay. And But it did feel just like a punk song and they just kind of to ma- decided to make it a bit kid-themed. Okay. I think it's a punk band who write kids' songs. Okay. Um, And if your kids do enjoy that sort of thing, it introduces them to other aspects of music which, like, there's a rush bit in it. There is a little rush solo thing. I love that. Synth. And it this is, is what I mean. This is the best kids song because it's the best kids song. And it's the best because it's everything that I love about music, punk, and it's fun, and it's got that little rap bit, and yeah. then it's got, like, bloody instrumental. Yeah. Everything about this is... Uh, and, you know, what? This I'm, I'm so going to lose again. I knew I was going to. You might don't call defeat in I advance. Do. I mean, it's definitely going to lose. I mean, it was. But your song is, is not any. It is very genre specific. Like you have to like punk and enjoy punk to enjoy that. You're not going to get the Rush reference if you're not a Rush parent. Like a lot of parents, <laughs> I'd just go over the head. Like, oh, that's a fun little synth solo <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah, it's and mad for the, for the Rush Rush parents. That is really cool little. Okay, for, and oh, all right. So, 
there's a lot to do with this song as to why it's the best song. And I think as a, and to me, because I'm a musician hmm. and because my whole world has been all about music since I was a little kid, my, I think kids these days, if they're even interested in the slightest music thing, and if their parents listen to music and they got into this and they heard that, they'd be like, <gasps> isn't that the same? Unless yeah. the kid's not, I don't know. I guess. They also did a shorter version on uh, on Yo Gabba Gabba. Yeah, because that's very long. That's like four minutes it for was, a kid's yeah. song. That's a, oh. it's a bit long. Man. But. Maybe good to put kids to sleep too. <laughs> it's a long something. time to sit still and listen to music. Cool pool party. I love it. Anyway, uh, listen to the song. Tell me your vote. I feel like we're stuffed up again. It's pretty fun, but it is no <sighs> wonder of Wiggletown, which we will have a quick listen to. <laughs> All right, I got a few points to make. Yeah, the Wiggles are amazing. Yeah, Wiggles have always been amazing, even with the change of people. It yep. has always stuck to this amazing um, cast and music and the the writing. Yeah, always brilliant. Um, I I noticed over time it went as a musician, it went from being more like Elvis style because they were very Elvisy and very like that style it's definitely progressed into this like more uh i don't know they've definitely grown they're very beachy boys but yeah. even the earlier stuff was very beachy boys like go santa go super be beachy boys see anyway, that's still not that's... yeah anyway yeah uh okay the song the lyrics are great but it is only age specific yeah okay kids no, young kids. Yeah. Young, young kids. I guarantee if I showed that to my 11-year-old, he'd be like, I don't get it. I'm yeah. not having fun. This isn't good. Clouds are smiling. What? Where's the kids getting bashed? Yeah. Where's, who's, where's the funny bit throwing a thing in the pool? Yeah. Like... Well, I think when you say kids' music... The kids' songs generally are going to be for little kids. I mean, by the time they're like 10 and stuff, they're not listening to kids' music anymore. They're listening to adult music. Well, yeah, they're they are progressing. To the rappers. Although, Your kids are listening to Eminem. Well, yeah, they're some... Not, yeah. Like, At the same no time, no, no, no. There's no kids' music that's going to appeal to them. Like, they might enjoy the Aquabats, but really it is for a... TJ is into... He listens to... Oh, God, I can't even remember the name. It's this fish that sings that's from Fortnite. Right. Anyway, he listens to a lot of that stuff. He also listens to a lot of the Pokemon songs. Yeah. If I said, hey man, check this Wiggles song, he would... No, I don't yeah, want to listen to. I think to. that's still older demographic than kids' music. He's still know, a kid. We know when we're You talking... were saying, no, you're saying that once your kid is four, it's always four. Like, no, it is not gonna... Like, it, there is... Age specific. If I showed that to Rusty, sweet. Yeah, little kids. I feel like you, little like, kids, not kids. No, like all music is kind of all pop music is generally made for kids. Like you know, your kids, your older kids' age. But mm. you wouldn't bring in like a. Uh, <laughs> no, one, you wouldn't bring like in a One Direction song that this is the best kids song because that is. Made for kids. Well, no. Your kids. One age. Direction, and I'm not a fan. You yeah, know, I'm young, not a fan of that stuff. But there is a pop. Stuff. No, pop is designed for people of all ages. If you listen to New Bieber, but mostly aimed at younger kids. If you listen to New Bieber and all of that sort of stuff that's coming up, yeah. it is very. It's age. Because he grows up with his fans. His no. earlier music was for. Because DJ aged kids. No, because because Rusty loves the Bieber stuff that's coming out now. Yeah. The uh, yeah. he does that. He loves that stuff, and um, and so do the older kids. Yeah. So does my partner. I'm not opposed to it. It's not what I would go to, but I'm not. I don't hate it. Yeah. You know what I love though. You know what I really love. And this is so off topic, but I love it and I'm going to put it in anyway. Pop musicians are now collabing with metal. Yeah. And 
Travis Barker from Blink-182 is producing a lot of pop artists. So a lot of pop these days is coming out as pop punk. Yeah. And a lot of this, like MGK is killing it with his punk stuff. Yeah. And a lot of people who are punks are going to say, it's the worst. How dare they? No, I'm sorry. It, it's really cool. It's really cool to have Blink-182.2 through all these pop artists. Yeah. And it's great to see punk coming out in that mainstream because I'm so sick of regular pop music. Yes, that's fair. So your only argument is to try and change the definition of what kids' music is, really. No. I mean, everyone knows when you say kids' music, <laughs> it is basically music made for kids five and under. You could say, oh, it was made... No. Like, ten-year-olds could enjoy it. But it's not kids' music. Kids' music is generally little kids. No one's thinking... You know, t- there's no, like, ten-year-old specific kid music because they'll listen to... Anything. You know what my kids More really, mature. really loved growing up? What? Friends or Rom punch in the face. Yeah, it's fun. Yep. Yeah. They also, as they got a little bit older, they really loved Uncle Harry pissing in the bath. Yeah. Living in. Yeah. Um, yeah, because they're a bit rude. Well, because Those songs it's are a bit rude. Fun. That's why they're hilarious. To and I mean, uh, yeah, I suppose I've given anyway. them in. All right. So your criticism of the song is that you've decided to change what children's music means. Um, it is really just an incredible song on its own has so many layers the instruments are great yeah it's pretty cool it's and all fun. the voices <laughs> layering on top of each other there's so much uh, going on in that song it's just amazing and Lockie has a great voice i'm a giant Arguably, fan of i'm a giant fan of josh pike and and all that vocal production and the yeah. layers he does it perfectly and to hear that sort of stuff coming out through like a Beach Boy type wiggle song is like, oh, you know what? That's really cool. Yeah, it's fun. I love that song. I Lock- love it. Lockie but I- has that kind of, like, Greg had a great kid music voice. Yeah. Lockie has just a great voice. Like, he, he could he does, be yeah, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, a Josh Pike type thing. He, yeah, I love his voice. It's awesome. Damn. They, and you know what? As a as a children's group, the Wiggles work harder than any others, and they've been doing it for, for friggin' ever. And they are yeah. always... Forever since being a kid to now is still amazing. I, I love the Wiggles. Yeah. I just... Uh, I was bummed when Rusty didn't get into them. Now, I think it'll be actually interesting how this folk goes. Because while I do think that The Wonder of Wiggle Town is an amazing song, regardless. Uh, but we might... A, a lot of dads are in that age where punk was quite big when they're in high school and that kind of thing. Yeah. So... I think if they're listening to them both, I think there might be quite a few people are listening to them and go, oh, no, I love it. I could listen to that. The punk yeah. thing. Yep. They could think that. Or if they're more musically inclined, they might go, oh, man, that one wiggle Wiggletown, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, vote for me or Kevin, who you think picked the better kid song. But then also, in the comments, mention what your you would have picked for the best kid song and... Whichever comment gets the most votes will get a special mention in next week's episode. I'm okay with that.